Hi folks, in this tutorial I'll show you how to map local drive letters to SharePoint Online. For this I'll be using the utility Cloud Drive Mapper. Um, there's a free trial for this, so you can try it for yourselves. I put a link below the video. So as you can see, I'm in the Cloud Drive Mapper admin portal, which is where I'll configure my drives. I've already created a group and a drive mapping to OneDrive in uh, the previous video. Now I'm just going to edit this existing group and add some more drives. As you can see, there are quite a few different drives I can create here, including several related to SharePoint. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the specified SharePoint URL option. Cloud Drive Mapper can map drives to SharePoint online sites, subsites, document libraries, and even folders inside document libraries. So you can get quite a lot of flexibility here, depending on the way that you've got SharePoint set up. I'd probably recommend mapping to document libraries or folders because that way you can't see all the site pages and other ancillary stuff at the site root, but you can do whatever you think is best for you. I'm going to enter a URL for our marketing folder within our main central document library. I'll call the drive marketing and put it on the letter M. Next, I'll click save. I've already installed Cloud Drive Mapper, which I demonstrated in the previous video, but if you haven't seen that, it's an entirely standard and straightforward process don't really need to go over it again. I've also added this license key here, which I explained in the previous video both licenses the product and is what links the specific users I've deployed the license key to with these settings here. As you can see in File Explorer, I've already got a drive mapped to my OneDrive here. Um, because I've only just added the SharePoint location, I'm going to need to refresh Cloud Drive Mapper. You'll see my new marketing drive has now appeared on my M drive. I'll quickly go through the same process again to add another drive, this time to our um, sales SharePoint site, and I'm going to add that to the S drive. I'll refresh the settings again. So now we have two drives mapped to different SharePoint locations, as well as our original H drive mapped to OneDrive from the previous video. So that's um, pretty nifty, right? And also really easy. These drives work in the same way as local or network drives. You can easily browse them, you can open, copy, save, create, delete files and folders, and everything you sort of expect to be able to do with storage. The search works really nicely too. Nothing is synced. This is just simple direct access to your SharePoint online storage. In terms of user experience, if you have single sign-on for Office 365, the drive mapping experience is completely seamless for your users. They'll just log into Windows Desktop or VDI or published app environment, whatever. Cloud Drive Mapper supports quite a wide range. And the drives will just map in the background as they sign in. Deployment is easy. There are MSIs and DXEs available and can easily be handled by group policy, SCCM, Intune, etc. You can use different groups in the Cloud Drive Mapper portal to create different sets of configurations for different groups of users. For example, in a school, you might want a group of mappings for employees and a different group of mappings for students. Simply set them up in the portal here and deploy the license keys, which are just really registry keys, to the relevant user groups or OUs in your directory. So that's pretty much it for this video. In future tutorials, I'll go over some of the other options for mapping SharePoint document libraries and also Microsoft Teams libraries, including the Converge Drive feature, which dynamically maps all of the SharePoint document libraries a user has the permissions to access into a single drive letter. This is a really neat feature, so I hope you'll check out the next video. Um, also, please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with any of the future tutorials that we do. Thanks.